Hi guys, it's Ellen and today I have a new scrapbook video to share with you. So in this video I'm using the Pink Paisley Again and Again collection and there's a lot of pieces that have um, a peachy nudie colour. Um, so I wanted to create my own background. So I have some A4 white card here. I've not added gesso or anything to this because um, I'm not really adding a lot of water to my page so uh, I wasn't too worried about warping or anything. And then I've used an orange and pink acrylic paint and a bit of white gesso to create a peachy colour that I was happy with. But when this dries, it's actually a little bit darker than what I thought. It looks kind of more orange, but I think it works in the end. Um, so I've added some stripes across the page and I also added a few splatters as well. And then I wanted to have a border around the page. So I have this gorgeous um, navy blue and white pattern paper. It actually looks dark on video, but it's very, very dark blue um, and I'm just trimming that to A4 size and then I'm taking my um, white cardstock that I did the mixed media on and trimming that down by a centimetre on all four sides and um, so I'll just have a small piece of the background um, of that pattern paper just showing in um, just showing as a border um, I've cut out the middle of that background paper so I can use that for something else because that's just going to be hidden by my white cardstock so I didn't want to waste that. So I'm just going to add some double sided tape on all four sides of my white paper um, and then I can stick that down on the pattern paper. I stuck it a little bit off to the left um, so I had to trim a little bit off the right side just to make it more even but I'm not too worried about this being slightly smaller than A4 because I, um, when I add a lot of um, embellishments and things to the page it um, bulks up my protector pocket so I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't too worried about having it a bit smaller. I then got another one of the pattern papers from this collection, a gorgeous um, stripy one with dots, that's again um, a navy blue and I'm just using different scraps from this collection of papers that I have. I absolutely love that pink um, stripy one and the navy blue floral as well, I love all of these. So I've just um, layered them on the page and then I've sewn around the entire um, border and also around the navy pattern paper um, just with a white white thread um, just to keep it all secure and also add a little bit of texture. I then wanted to create a pink that's in the stripy paper so I've just used some watercolours to create a pink that I'm happy with and then I'm going to add those as splatters around the page as well and these dry a lot lighter than um, how they look at the minute so it's a really subtle um, bit of colour I just loved that pink so I just wanted more of that on the page So I'm leaving my background to dry and backing my um, photo, this photo of me and my boyfriend on New Year's Eve. Um, so I've just backed it with white card and I just dressed the edges of um, the photo as well. And then I've got the vellum speciality paper from this collection and I'm going to use that as a, another paper layer between um, behind my photo as well. I absolutely love that vellum so I definitely wanted to use that on this page. Um, so just using double sided tape to stick all of that together um, and then I'm going to place that um, so it sort of overlaps um, a piece of each of the pattern papers. I'll also add some foam behind my photo to give it some dimension as well. So I've got my photo roughly where I'm going to place it. I haven't stuck that down yet because um, I thought I might want to overlap some things um, under my photo. 
So I'm then going through the card stock stickers from the Again and Again collection and just picking out different pieces that I wanted to use. So I have some of that peachy pink colour um, in the sheet that says, uh, on the ephemera piece that says Here With You. And I also tied in the navy colour on that um, hexagon piece that says Every Day. And I'm incorporating some of the florals as well. There's some gorgeous florals in this collection. And obviously I have the florals on that navy blue pattern paper, so I've tied them in as well. I added a gold sticker and um, across my photo that said currently I wanted to add gold to this layout because the vellum has gold foiling on it so I wanted to tie that in and um, I added a couple of tabs at the top of the page as well one of them says today and that one is actually the same um, design as the stripy navy pattern paper so I thought that was really cool and I added a gold um, uh, arrow piece at the top as well. So for my title I went really simple, I've literally just written 2020 with some gold thickers, these are really old, these are not from the collection, I can't remember where they are from I'm sorry but the gold matched perfectly with the pieces in this collection. Um, and then I have the puffy stickers from again and again as well and um, one of them is like a scalloped border sticker so I've chopped that in half and stuck that on the um, top and bottom of my page again adding some more gold in um, I also folded across the corner of the um, stripy navy pattern paper so it showed a bit more of that navy blue pattern paper behind it um, I just wanted another pop of blue up there and then to add more blue to the page I have some navy blue thread and I'm just tangling that up and adding that under different pieces of ephemera I added a um, rainbow puffy sticker so I've added some under there, I've added some under my photo, I'll also add some under the tab at the um, top of the page as well. I love tangled thread on a layout, it just, I like the messy look of it, I'm, I'm quite happy for my layouts not to look neat and perfect, that doesn't bother me so I like the look of tangled thread but I know it's not for everybody. The final thing I wanted to do is add more gold, um, but just in a subtle way. So I've taken some Lindy's Magical Powder, watered that down and added splatters. And I also added the date in a gold pen. So that's my page all finished. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you very much for being here. Bye guys. Bye.